Hello, welcome back from Thanksgiving break. I hope you guys had lots of mashed potatoes, turkey, and pumpkin pie. Um, we're getting closer to winter and Christmas. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Shake off all the virtual learning stress, honestly. All right. So today, I thought I was going to start, well, I'm going to start reading. This was one of my childhood favorites because nostalgia. It's called The Abominable Snowman Doesn't Roast Marshmallows. And this is The Bailey School Kids. Yes, that's right. Um, we're going to be talking about some snow. So I thought we could do a little activity to just kind of regroup as we go into this next couple of weeks until Christmas. So you can get out a notebook. I have my amazing one. Um, and you're just going to rip out a piece of paper because we're going to make a snowflake. And this is the snowflake of hope, is what I'm gonna call it. And I'm gonna need you to get out your kitty scissors too. If you have them at home, ask your mom, ask your dad. Don't get sharp ones, don't run with them, point them away from you. Safety first. All right, you're gonna basically fold it up as much as you can, like you're passing a secret note to your classmate. And you're gonna take your kitty scissors, and I don't have kitty scissors because I'm a grown up. And I want you to cut little triangles out of it, like so. And you can get your parents to help you. And we're gonna make a snowflake, and then we're gonna get into our story. All right. I thought it was supposed to snow today, but I guess we didn't get any. So hopefully, we'll get some snow and. You guys can build snowmans and, you know, go sledding. Oh, I love sledding. All right, let's see. What do we got here? All you're going to basically do is just keep cutting little slits and cut whatever you like into your little snowflake. And then, once you're done, you're going to open it up to see your surprise. Wow, it's beautiful. And basically, just sign your name and you can hang it up on your fridge. Every time you look at it, I want you to think, I can do this. And I got this. Learning and go. Alright. So, let's get into the story. So, we have this abominable snowman. Oh, look at them. Look at the little kids playing. Alright, and this is by Debbie Dady and Marcia Thornton Jones. All right, I'm excited. Okay, chapter one, Blizzard. Oh no. Watch out, Eddie yelled, but he was too late. The school bus drove by and splashed Melody, Howie, and Liza. You guys look like kid sickles, Eddie said with a snicker. Liza shivered as icicles formed on her nose. It's not funny, you think that bus driver would watch where he's going. Maybe he gets extra money from the school board if he splashes kids. Oh my gosh. Um, Eddie said with a laugh, the kids looked both ways before crossing Delaware Boulevard on their way home from school. Snow all already covered the streets and sidewalks and more continued to fall. It even covered the red freckles on Eddie's nose. Maybe we'll get a snow day out of this, Eddie said hopefully splashed by the school bus. Liza shook her head. My mother told me that it would have to be really bad before we missed any more school. We've already had too many snow days this year. That's relatable. Eddie sighed and shook the bushes on the corner. Huge plops, blobs of snow plopped to the ground. I'm so cold my goosebumps are trying to fly south for the winter, <laughs> Melody said rubbing the damp sleeves of her winter coat. Nobody was expecting this much snow, Howie said. The weatherman on WMTJ said the weather patterns around the world have been very unusual lately. In fact, Howie continued, the Himalayan mountains are expecting a strange warm spell. Eddie stared at his friend. Howie was a smart kid who wanted to be a doctor when he grew up, but sometimes he still surprised Eddie. How do you know those things? Eddie asked. Howie shrugged. You can learn a lot from TV. 
if you watch the right channels. I'm glad we aren't having a warm spell, L Liza said. The annual winter frost carnival wouldn't seem right without snow. Every year, Bailey City held a winter carnival. Ooh, that sounds fun. Complete with a parade, a snow sculpture contest, snowball fights, and a human dog sled races. Ooh. The car carnival was just a few days away and the kids were looking forward to all of the competitors or competitions. Melody knocked a pile of white stuff off of her black pigtails. A little snow would be okay, but this is ridiculous, she said. Wet snow pelt pelted the kids so hard they could barely see the sidewalk. Oh no. Why don't you guys come over to my house, Howie suggested. We could get started on our snow sculpture. Great idea, Eddie said. We've got to come up with something that will that will beat the weird family over at the Deadman Street. His friends nodded. They knew exactly. <laughs> they knew exactly who he meant. Last year, a family living in a rundown house had made a haunted ice village on their front lawn. The judges took one look and gave them first prize. Don't worry, Eddie continued. I've got it all planned. We'll fill Howie's yard with snow monsters. Liza shook her head. So hard her cap slipped off her blonde hair. I wanted to make an ice princess castle. Eddie glared at Liza. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Snow monsters are much cooler. Melody interrupted them before they could say another word. Maybe we should work on another contest for now, she said. The kids stopped at the corner of Main Street and Delaware Boulevard. It was snowing so hard that the street light had come on. Ooh, that, that's a dark, dark clouds. Holy Toledo, Eddie shouted, totally ignoring Melody. Look at that. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Chapter two, Great Falls of Fire. Is that a song? <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh, Liza screeched. It's a forest fire. Wait, what? A forest fire. Oh, in the empty lot across Main Street, the kids could plainly see a roaring blaze. The red flames stood out against the white ground like a flashing electric sign. Oh my goodness. Eddie rolled his eyes. We're not in a forest. Well, it's fire, Liza said. Melody nodded. We have to call for help fast before it spreads to one of the, our houses. Great balls of fire, <laughs> Eddie screamed. Help, help. Sorry, I'm laughing because he said that like that. Melody punched Eddie in the arm. Not here, you dope. We have to <laughs> we have to get to a phone and call the fire department. These kids. The kids tried to run, but it was slow going in their winter boots. They only made it a few feet without the drifting snow before they were painting, <laughs> panting and their boots were filled with snow. Yuck, Eddie. <laughs> I'm turning in... <laughs> I'm turning into Frosty the Toe Man. <laughs> this is, sorry, this is a serious moment, but I'm just, they're the puns. The city will burn down before we get to a phone, Liza shrieked. Won't the snow put it out first? Melody wondered. Wait just a minute, Howie said, squinting through the falling snow. That's no wildfire. That's a huge campfire. Uh oh. In the middle of a snowstorm? Liza squeaked. In the middle of a town? Melody asked. Nobody is that crazy, Eddie said. <laughs> it looks like someone is, and there's the guy now, Howie said, pointing out the shape of a huge man hunched over the fire through the swirling snow. The kids spotted a very large shadow beside the roaring flames. So they're all running. I wonder who started the fire. Hmm. Maybe a camper. Hey, I think you're right, Eddie said. That is a guy, a very big guy. Every person with a with half a brain is staying inside on a day like this, Melody said. The wind changed directions and, the, and blew directly into her face. She sputtered to catch her breath. Maybe the poor guy doesn't have a home to go to, Liza said over the blowing wind. He's got to be a nutcase, Melody said, shaking her head. This time the wind blew so hard she fell into her rear end. Eddie laughed. Maybe you're the nutcase. <laughs> Let's go see this man. No, Liza squealed. Eddie didn't like to listen to anyone but himself. He headed across the street right for the mysterious stranger. 
Who do you think it's going to be? I'm going to pick up with part two on chapter three, and it's called Savage. So we'll see what happens. So I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Have fun making the snowflakes and have a great rest of your day. You got this. Believe in yourself. You're intelligent, you're smart, and you're capable. Have a good day, guys. Bye.